Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. A four-digit number divided by a two-digit number is equal to two digits and a digit after the decimal point. Some countries use the notation of a comma. In this video, I will use a decimal point. What could these numbers be? Let me give a little bit more information. These are the steps of a simple long division. From this limited information, you are to solve for all of the blank spaces. It seems impossible, but it's not. The problem was reported by Sora News 24 with the headline, Can you solve this crazy difficult, super satisfying math puzzle from a Japanese middle schooler? They credit the Twitter account, at at underscore carbuncle, and it was said to have been created by a student who's 12 or 13 years old. I thank everyone who sent me the problem, including Sagar Shalar, Nipun, Aryan, Michael, Rishav, and at Black Wolf Howler. I highly encourage you give this problem a try. It is difficult, but it is super satisfying to figure out. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we figure out this problem? Suppose the divisor is the two-digit number AB and the quotient is CD point E. We'll approach the problem in four steps. We'll first deduce E is equal to 5, B is even, and A is equal to 1. Then we'll deduce that B is either 4 or 8, so AB is either 14 or 18. Then we'll determine AB is equal to 14, and CD point E is equal to 97.5. Finally, we'll solve for the remaining blank spaces. Let's get started. We'll actually approach this problem from the very end. In the very end, this column is one decimal point after the original four digit number. So it must be the result of carrying down a zero. Since the final result is zero, we must have a zero in both of the units column. Now, this final step is the result of multiplying AB by E. This means ABE is a multiple of 10, which means B multiplied by E is a two digit multiple of 10. Naturally, E cannot be equal to zero because if the quotient was a whole number, we wouldn't need anything after the decimal point. So what are the possibilities for B and E? One case is that B is equal to zero and then E could be any digit. The other possibilities will all involve one factor of two and one factor of five in order to get a multiple of 10. Now it looks like we haven't really done much because we still have a lot of possibilities, but we're going to use one more observation. Consider the first step where we have AB multiplied by C is equal to a three digit number ending in six. This means B multiplied by C must end in a six. Therefore, B cannot be equal to five. A number that ends in five will always have multiples that end in five or zero. Similarly, B cannot be equal to zero because multiples will then end in zero. And we need B multiplied by C to end in six. We'll combine this with our list. Since B cannot be equal to five, we'll eliminate all of these possibilities. Since B cannot be equal to zero, we'll eliminate this possibility. So we're left with the following four options. In all cases, E is equal to five. We then have B is equal to two, four, six, or eight. We can deduce further. Notice that in the very last step, it's the result of AB multiplied by five. So AB multiplied by five has to be a two digit multiple of 10. The largest multiple that's two digits is 90. 90 divided by five is equal to 18. This means A has to be less than or equal to one. This means A is equal to one because we exclude the case that A is equal to zero. That would be a leading digit like zero eight. Therefore, A is equal to one. We'll now proceed to the second step. We're going to show that B is either four or eight. So AB is either 14 or 18. 
To do that, we'll consider the first step. We have 1b multiplied by c is equal to a three-digit number ending in 6. So we're going to consider multiplying 12, 14, 16, and 18 by a single digit c to get a three-digit number ending in 6. We'll actually just work through these possibilities. There are not too many to consider. Of these three-digit numbers, there are only two possibilities that end in 6. It's either 14 by 9 or 18 by 7. Thus, b is either 4 or 8. And if b is 4, c is 9. And if b is 8, c is 7. We'll ignore this for a moment and just focus on b. From here, we go to the next step and determine that ab is equal to 14 and cde is equal to 97.5. We'll consider both cases of b is equal to 4 and b is equal to 8. If we have 8, ab is equal to 18. And if we have 4, ab is equal to 14. So for ab is equal to 18, notice that we need 18 by 5 in the final step, which will be equal to 90. So the previous step must also be equal to 90 to cancel out. We then have the following thing, and it's a little bit complicated, so let me go through it slowly. Notice we have a three-digit number minus a two-digit multiple of 18 equal to 9. So we need a three-digit number minus a two-digit multiple of 18 to be equal to 9. What possibilities could we have for this? Well, we work through the possibilities. The first possibility of 18 by 5 doesn't work because 99 is a two-digit number and we need a three-digit number. Another possibility is 18 times 6 plus 9. This doesn't work because 108 is a three-digit number. So neither of these cases could work. So we'll consider that AB cannot be equal to 18. We'll then go through AB is equal to 14. In this case, 14 multiplied by 5 is equal to 70. We then have a 7 over here. So in this step, we need a 3-digit number minus a 2-digit multiple of 14 to be equal to 7. Or a 2-digit multiple of 14 plus 7 is a 3-digit number. We actually do get something that works here. 14 times 7 plus 7 is equal to 98 plus 7, which is equal to 105. Thus, B could be equal to 4, and D could be equal to 7. Now recall, if B is equal to 4, from before, we deduced that c has to be equal to 9. Therefore, b is equal to 4, d is equal to 7, and c is equal to 9. We can then go to the final step and solve for the remaining blank spaces. We can first recover the original number. 14 times 97.5 is equal to 1365. So those are the original four digits. To get the final three digits, we subtract 126 from 136 to get 10. We then carry down the 5, and we filled the remaining blank spot. That's the answer to this puzzle, and it's the only answer. What an amazing problem. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.